Hello everybody, Lloyd in a day here, and we're back at it with Earthbound! Uh... I don't remember most of what I did last stream. I know we destroyed a statue, our uh, partner got snatched, and the guru guy is now ready to talk, and that's where I had left off from last time. So, we're gonna pick up where we left off! I hope everyone's had a nice Thursday. Or, if, uh, time zones, you had a nice front, uh, start of your Friday. But yeah, we are back at it! Hopefully sound is okay, I fiddled with it before, uh, stream started. And... I have smudgy glasses. Potato! Hello, Ray! Yeah, one sec, I wanna clean my glasses. You were very productive today! I am concerned about Vey, though. He's been... In a rough spot. He's got a project that he's not exactly happy with. He's in a very hot as hell area right now. I hope things look better for him. Also, Court C uh, gave me some help organizing my items today. Yes, you were, Ray. You were working on your uh, your book. Hung the first picture in the house after getting off the call with you. Nice. Uh, it's a shame I can't run any faster. So yeah, we gotta go all the way back. And I gotta try and find that cave with the monkeys. The, uh, desert monkeys, which is still very strange. wonder if there was a quicker way to, like, get back. Yeah, that's exactly what went into my head just now. I should have taken the gosh darn bus. And the bus costs money! And I don't want to lose my... Uh... Where's my money? Oh, there it is. I don't want to lose my almost 4,200 money! Oh crap, I gotta worry about heat stroke. What the hell? What are you guys? I'm Big Brother Boncho. I'm Kid Brother Pincho. I'm Thomas Jefferson. Eh. I'm a broken slot machine. But the Sanchez brothers and their friend are a very cheerful trio. They will make you happy. Would you like to insert a buck? Um, yes? That's weird. <laughs> that is so weird. I'm not picking up items because, uh, I just spent time clearing items. Also, I can't find that entrance. Here we go. No! Mole man, you usually run away. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Grab a picnic lunch and a skip sandwich at the store, by the way. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh, I just noticed the mole got butt cheeks. <laughs> Look at the little line. He's got butt cheeks. Okay, we need a skip sandwich and a picnic lunch, which is not you. You? Skip sandwich. Lunch. I'm gonna say we're gonna have to give this stuff to people. Cause it's not like I don't have healing on me.
Get out of my face. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Or in this case, old bull. You're not gonna beat me. Okay. Guru, what do you have to say? Uh-oh. We got monkey business. That explains why we need the stuff. Thank you for the heads up, Quartzy. Do you have a sandwich? I'll move away if you give me one. Can you give me one? Yes. Enjoy your skip sandwich. A skip sandwich! Okay. And what about you? I want to eat a picnic lunch. If you grant my wish, I might open the entrance. Will you give me a picnic lunch? Yes! Just grab everything because you will probably need it somewhere. Got it! Great! Let's open the chest. Whoa! There's a wet towel inside. Des takes it. Thanks? Why is the box so colorful? Oh no. Is this gonna be like one of these branching paths where you have two doors and then you go into one and that door branches off into two more paths and then you go through one and it branches off into two more paths? I hate those! No, it's a pain in the ass to deal with them. Whoa, there's a pizza inside. Jeff takes it. Why is Jeff taking it? I want it. Give me the pizza. Tough, mobile, sprout, and cohort. Although, it ran away from me. Why am I having to fight him? And you have to deal with item management along the way. Oh my god, I am so glad I talked to you about item management before doing all this. Good thing we got some spots. Uh, Girl Monkey! Ooh, I'm Moncona. I want to eat a tasty pizza. If you have some, will you give it to me? Yes. Enjoy my hard earned that I just found pizza. Ha, Moncona's happy. Yay. What about you? Doesn't it feel hot in here? My fur is all sweaty. Okie, okie, cookie. Maybe you don't usually keep a wet towel, but. Okie, okie, okie. If you have one, will you share it with me? You can just keep it. I'm not sharing a wet towel with an ape. Chimp. He's a chimp. He has the tail. <laughs> He's a chimp. Okie, Do you have one? Thank you. Super. Whoa! There's a, another pizza! Why are these monkeys hoarding pizza? Hello, you're by yourself with no doors. Gakokokyaki! Somewhere amongst us, all these rooms. Gakokokyaki! You should be able to obtain Dragonite! The Pokemon? We have Pokemon in here? Okiaki Kikyakokoi. Do you think Dragonite is really made from dragons? No, Dragonite is made from Pokemon. Kyoke, Kyoke, Okiyoke. By the way, I'll give you a fresh egg. Okiyako, Kyoko, Kikyo. If you run out, just come back and I'll give you as many eggs as you want. Don't ask how I got them. 
<laughs> they're mo they're monkey eggs. Oh, stream pause? Uh, nope. My life is still going strong. Also, there's a time to ask that crap. Oh, because it hatches into chicks and can turn into chickens. Oh no. We got a hamburger. We got a ruler. So we gotta be quick before this egg decides to hatch. Damn it. This is very crafty, especially for a game in the 90s. I love hamburgers. The monkey next to me loves hamburgers too. If you have a hamburger, will you please give it to me? Yes. Man, if I could just give you a double hamburger, would you both move? Unkiki, hamburger. Alright, so uh, I guess I gotta be quick. We get a flame pendant. Shoot, I don't know if that's gonna be like something I can keep or is a monkey gonna want it? And now I gotta backtrack. Okay, we keep that. Good. That's very good. I'd like to have a protein drink. Kya kya? Can you give me one? Do I have one? I do not. If you have a pizza, please give me one. Whoops, I spoke to you in the human's language. If you have pizza, please give me one. Yes. Everything in here is something you trade or is really good to have. It's just a big old bartering system. Great, pizza time! Not trademarked. We get... There's the protein drink, but I want to see what's in here. So I'd like to fork over the egg. Ookie, 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 ookie. I am man, K-Man. Ookie, 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 ookie. To me, the most interesting thing is the King Banana. Ookie, 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 ookie. What? Are you giving me a present? Ookie, tightwad. Ookie, 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 ookie. Let's get to the point. Give me a hamburger. Shoot. Shove off. Man, if these monkeys don't get what they want, they just tell you to piss off. Okay, you want a protein shake. Gulp, gulp, blackie. Gulp, gulp, blackie. <laughs> Didn't even bother translating. We get another hamburger, which means we gotta go back to where that one guy wanted a burger. Yeah, yeah. Fiss, fiss, fiss. What strange chattering for a monkey? Cuckoo, pip, pip, pip. If I eat a fresh egg, I recover some health. Croak, croak, beep. You have one? Can I have one? Please tell me it didn't hatch yet. No! It turned into a check already. Fine, I'll just be a weird monkey. Uh... Oh, I want to measure something. But I don't have a ruler. Cookie, cookie. Do you have one I may borrow? Yes. In fact, you can keep it. Finally, I can measure my own tail. Peep, peep. And I, we don't want peep, peep. We want silence because we need a stupid egg. Now we gotta backtrack all the way back to that room with the gut monkey with the eggs. And now she can measure the length of things. That is true.
Hopefully I'm going the right way. These things can make you so lost, so easy. Okay, good. Here's the guy that wants the burger. Unkiki, ookie, ookie. I love hamburgers. Ookie, unkiki. The monkey next to me loves hamburgers too. Ooh, unkiki, ookie. If you have a hamburger, would you please give it to me? Yes. Even though you guys couldn't share the double burger. Unkiki. Hamburger! Burger! It's like, wait, is this a McDonald's burger? How dare you! It should have been a Whopper at least! Nest dug around the trash can. Well, let's see here. There's a broken tube inside. Nest takes it. Which means... Jeff is getting it. And the chick turned into a chicken. Alright, now we get back on track so we can get the egg. Oh, I'm gonna hear that beeping now too, aren't I? And by beeping, that's the chicken clucking. Okay, give me an egg. Oh, did you find a flame pendant? Ukiaki kokiakaka? Oh no, you don't have to answer. Kyoke, kyoke, ukiyoke. You can see if you can sell the chicken. I don't know if I can use it in here though. Here's another fresh egg. Uh, let's let's try. Okay, they will come deep into this monkey cave. That's dedication. Uh, where are you? Try again. Someone's already hit. Wait for them to get here first. Sorry. In, the, in that case, I'm still going towards where I gotta go. There we go. No, that's the phone. What the hell? Hello? I saw your sign. I thought I should stop and buy something. I tried and tried to find it, but no such luck. I think you should give this up and go home. If you took your business more seriously, you would be more considerate of your customers. Click. Beep. Because I didn't stay in the room. Please tell me I'm going the right way. Ookie, ookie, ookie. My man came in. Ookie, ookie. To me, the most interesting thing is the king banana. Sure. This is the right place. Oh, no. You had to be outside. Okay, please be an egg. Please be an egg. Please be an egg. Shut up. I don't care. Please. Yes, it's still an egg. Shove in your gaping mouth hole. Go, go. See? Woo. Good. Let's see. What do we get? We get... A neutralizer. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna say that's a one time use item. Okay, okay, okay. I can measure his tail too. Oh, yeah, because I gave you the ruler. Cutie! One of my friends can use the teleport. Cutie? What? You've never heard of it? Cutie, cutie. Then I'll give you King Banana. Cute cookie. That didn't make sense, did it? But anyway, I'm attractive, don't you think? 
Uh, I'm not into monkeys. Jeff got the king banana. <laughs> I'm not into monkeys, thank you. Oh, you're sure it has infinite uses. So you know what? Help. Neutralizer. Items for Jeff. When used during battle, this item resets the abilities of all creatures, friend or enemy, to their normal levels. Any changes that is taking place due to Psy and such is neutralized. It also neutralizes all shields that were in effect. Remember, the abilities that I'm talking about are offense, defense, guts, etc. Very interesting. Uh, what's not interesting is me get. You know what? I have plenty of money. Let's just get rid of the stupid chicken. Get here, chicken. I have so much money right now, and the chicken's only gonna net me what? 120 bucks? you the king banana good cuz I want to try and give oh I've died and gone to monkey heaven <laughs> good for you I want to uh, move one th I want to move the neutralizer over and I want to give nest the flame pendant goes up pretty good. Okay. What did you want? Okie okay, okie okay, okie okay, okie. Okay. Let's get to the point. Give me a hamburger. Shoot. Do I have any more? No. Shove off then. I'm sorry you monkey jerk. Why is the chicken in a cave? Because the kid left it in there. Hey there's plenty of dirt which means plenty of worms. It'll be fine. Whoa. There's a hamburger inside. Thank you. And we get a Vector Clench inside. So you know what? Let's uh let's go back and give him the burger. Wiki, 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 wiki. I'm very grateful to you. Even though you told me to shove off, like, three times. <laughs> you got a change of attitude once you get something you want. I'm so glad I went backwards. Let's open the chest. We get... Bag of Dragonite! What do I do with it? Bag of Dragonite. If you sprinkle the powder on one of your friends during battle, that friend turns into a dragon and attacks all enemies. Gone after one use. That sounds like a really strong use item. Meaning, use that, like, in an emergency. To, like, somehow get the ability to buy more. Ukiki, Ukiki. I love Talarama the most. Wakiki, Wakiki. He's a friend of the monkeys. Yes, it is, and you only get a couple in the game. There's a song I made up for Telerama. Uh. Pencil shaped iron statues blocking the path. No! Do I need that stupid item from, like, what, chapter one or so? Hello, Jet! Uh, it looks like I'm gonna need to call what's his face in order to get that item back. Cause I'm pretty sure.
sure I gave everything else to all the monkeys. <laughs> yeah, this is weird. These guys are super weak, yet I have to fight them. Wish I could stay longer, but I have book club in about half an hour. Yes, today is Thursday. Enjoy book club! Which means I gotta go all the way to the drugstore and get the item around. This is gonna suck navigating back, I just know it. Get out of here, mole man! <laughs> you never learn your lesson! Alright, do I have at least one open slot? I do not. Mm. Maybe I can quickly sell something. You can box the HP sucker. Okay. Better than outright getting rid of something permanently. Escargo Express. Your delivery charge is $18. You can cover the bill, right? Yes, I have plenty of money. Alright, you take the HP sucker. What else can you take? Uh, you can take the Great Charm. And... You know what? Can you... I forgot if you can take the for sale sign. Yes, you can. Okay. HP Sucker, Great Charm, and Foil Sale Sign. Yes. Thank, thank you. But I'm gonna have to call you guys again because now I need something delivered to me. Eraser. Thank you, sis. You know what's weird? I always uh, see Jeff, like, during my playthrough of this, just have the regular glasses. No, he has very fine, like, Darkened green. I can't even say green. It's like a mix between gray and green eyes. Thank you. Now. To get back to that cave. Whatever this guru guy wants to tell me or give me or whatever, it better be freaking good. Shoot, 
Okay, not this way. Maybe this way? No! Dang it! Okay, this was the one. I think we're close. Yes! Okay, who. Okay, next has it. Use pencil eraser. Ness used the pencil eraser. For some weird reason, the iron pencil statue was erased. Get the hell out of here. Oh, thank you, it's over. Ka, 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 ka. I've been waiting for you. Before I talk to you, old man, I'm raiding your crap. Brain food lunch. I hope it doesn't have brains. Uh, what do we get? A cup of, another cup of life noodles. The truth of space and time moves through the universe like a wave. Truth speaks through space, and matter and makes itself known to human beings. I was waiting for you, and you came. This was destined to happen. In truth, all is predetermined. Ness, Paula, Jeff, and Poole. When these four powers gather, twisted space will bring peace to the world. Bring back peace to the world. Do you understand? It doesn't matter. Proceed as you wish. Open the treasure box and take what is inside with you. I already did. Did you come in search of this? Someone left it behind in this hole. You cannot carry anything else. Why don't you get rid of something you don't need? You will need this, the gourmet yogurt machine. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Hmm. Just get rid of the calorie stick. And now we gotta go through all this dialogue all over again. Don't worry, you get something else good. Okay, thank you. Because I'm not a huge fan of yogurt. I do sometimes eat it, but I'd rather something else. We got the ability to make all the yogurt we want! <laughs> Jeff got the yogurt dispenser. The adventure that lies ahead won't be easy. I'll give you a special skill to help you move through space as you wish. Learn the skill from the monkey over there. Would you like to learn this special power? <laughs> yes. Ha ha ha. That's wonderful. Speak to the monkey over there. The skill you'll learn is patty cake. Kya 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 kya. I'll teach you teleportation. Kya, kya, kya. Let's go outside. Sweet! Mmm, trout yogurt. Black! Give me some... Give me strawberry yogurt or blueberry yogurt. Some kind of fruit that isn't banana and I'll eat it. And no coconut. God, I hate coconut. I'm going to presume teleportation is going to be our uh, teleport from town to town. Hikiki! Follow me, like this way. 
Hey, no fair. How come he didn't have to fight them all? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm coming, you monkey. Yak, yak, yo, yo. Okay, I'll do a teacher's demonstration. Yak, 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 yak. If you can learn this, you can go anywhere you've been previously. Yes! Yak, 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 yak. You can go there instantly. Yaki, yaki, yaki. This skill can't be used in a room or underground, though. Wow, I learned a lot. Lucky. In Japanese, it is a tofu machine that makes strawberry tofu. Now that. I wish would have stayed in the English translation because that actually sounds tasty. Cookie, I went to fourth side and return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I showed you the basic straight course, but you can also build up enough speed while turning if you have enough room. Okay, okay. let's try it, young man. Ow! I failed! I failed, Sensei! Yuck, 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 yuck. Try again by believing in the monkey teacher. Yuck, 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 yuck. Okay, I'll do a teacher. Shoot. Hmm. So you have to be really quick with your turn. Or maybe just not touch anything. Let's learn how to use side teleportation. Yo! Great! Okay, the teacher's going home now. Bye! Alright, so. Now we gotta learn how to do this ourselves. We can go to Winters? We can go to, uh, Jeff's home. Ooh, neat. This also means we need to save. Now where's the hotel? There's the hospital, which means that- NOPE! Denied! Denied. <laughs> Alright, where the hell is that stupid hotel? Yes, here we go. Probably should call mom too. Hello, Ness. So how's your adventure going? Hmm, I see. It sounds like you're having some tough times then. Your teacher dropped by looking for you. Don't worry, I covered for you. Everything is fine here. You just keep on trucking. Well, my soap opera is getting to really steamy part, so I better get let you go. Bye. Thanks, ma'am. I'm also a very rich lad. And this is the 90s. It's, well, the game was made in the 90s. So, compare this price to the 90s price. I could probably buy my own home. Guy, I just made me sad. <laughs> Can't do that now in this day and age. Okay, we now have said yogurt machine. Did you ever buy that home? Oh, the one by the river? No, I haven't. Once Forsyth is done, I might, might want to make a trip to uh, Onet and see if I can buy that house. <laughs> you two have the same idea.
Oh. All right, which also means we gotta look for Doughboy at the top floor. This elevator is only for Master Pokey's use. It goes directly to the 47th floor. Quit staring at my hips. Why don't you stand somewhere else instead of behind me? Oh, now I see it. Actually, if there was that home, you could buy. Sorry, I, I missed your message. Alright, I don't think it's this one. No, private elevator. Alright, so maybe we have to talk to Pokey. Who is it now that gets the machine? You haven't changed much, Ness. I'm Aloysius Minch, Pokey's dad. Due to my son's success, I now live the life of a rich man. Every dog has its day. That's the perfect proverb to describe me. <laughs> oh, my jaw's tired. You have it real tough, don't you, guy? Alright, so maybe... Pokey? Maybe I could show it to him? Yogurt dispenser. Yogurt dispenser can't be used here. Maybe hell? Yogurt dispenser. Items for Jeff. Invented by Apple Kid. If used during combat, some damage will be dealt to the enemy. Though it's not understood why this happens. It's just yogurt after all. Can be used many times. So it's a battle item. Oh, now nah, you need to bring it to Electra. Uh, I believe Electra was at the cafe? Oh, you never knew that! No, go up the other elevator. It wouldn't let me go th and use the other elevator, though. And geez, why is this lady so concerned about her hips? Yeah, I can't use this one. Oh, but now you have something to deliver. Do I use it at the door? Can't be used here. Maybe I talk to these guys? Whoops. I was almost going to beat you up. Hmm. Are you a friend of Master Pokey? It's okay to visit him here. But don't wander around the building. Someone might be suspicious of you and take a pot shot at you with a machine gun. Hmm. Because Pokey's just gonna throw me out, isn't he? You won't get away from me, kid. Hmm. Get away from me, kid! I'll talk to him. Ooh la la. This, this is my poor old friend. Ah, uh, what's your name? Pig's butt. No, no, Ness. Didn't you come here to beg for some money? Ooh la la. Don't you recognize me? I'm Master Pokey. Pokey! Get it? I'm now. Gal the guard monitors the his partner, blah, 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 blah. And I give him political and economic advice. I heard there were some ratty looking kids asking Mr. Monitoli. Was that you, Ness? This isn't a place for the likes of you. Get out of here. Now, loser. And we get thrown out. Hmm. Try the department store. You must never show your face around Master Pokey. You got that. I will quite literally twist you into a pretzel. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, so it's either going to be the department store or my original idea of maybe the cafe?
<clears throat> oh, the lobby. Hello, baby face. What brings you to the Monotoli building? Uh, I have a delivery? No, it can't be used here. Hmm. Would you like to buy tickets for the Topola Theater? No. Oh, I see. You're not a customer. Hmm. I'm trying to see if anyone sticks out like a sore thumb. Everyone's taking up uh, the office. Nope, office is empty. So no one in here. So instead of going all the way down, I'm just gonna do this. Should have been in the lobby. Maybe it's one of these two? Last night there was a solitaire tournament. I lost my shirt. I'll invite you next time. Hey, wait. Do you even know what solitaire is? I do. And it sucks that solitaire is now tied to freaking ads. There she is on the corner. Oh, wait. This lady? The one here? I kept asking around for trout flavored yogurt, but. What? You have a yogurt dispenser? Before you can answer, she took the yogurt dispenser. Now I can make truck flavored yogurt for my guests. You're so kind. I'll make some for you. No thanks. My room's on the 48th floor. Don't forget to drop by. Ew. My room's on the 48th floor. Don't forget. Still ew. <laughs> so now we can use the uh, other elevator? <clears throat> oh, now I'm good. Okay. Yeah, you're right. We're now good. Shh, quiet. Aren't you, Ness? Mr. Monotolo's maid, Electra, told me about you. I'll take you to Mr. Martelli's office on the 48th floor. Only you may go. Uh, that is that. Uh, did, I, did I just lose Jeff? Uh, no. Okay, no, Jeff is still with me for now. Secret code, please. Say your code in 10 seconds. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six. It's forty-two. It's forty-two. It's forty-two. Sentry robot blocked the way. Uh, you know what's funny? Kind of looks a little bit like Rob. So it looks like we're gonna be going towards our next boss. But at least we can do some exploring. Oh, it's going to be one of these setups. No, no, no. Oh, wow, you guys are actually very slow. So we have two connecting hallways, I think? Or no, it's... It keeps leading me out of these two doors. Secret code, please. I don't have your stupid code. Can we just skip this? 
and just get right to the fight. <clears throat> he also reminds me, God, I don't remember when this out when this robot toy was made, but it was like a little kid's toy. I think it was like early 90s, maybe late 80s. Just weasel around it. I wonder what kind of help he would call for. Maybe one of those little UFO guys? I'm saying, uh, he said tick tick tock. I wonder if that meant he could explode. Up or left? Shut up. Uh, up again? Ah, uh, we got- We have another fucking maze situation! guys have really high defense. Well, not super high, but definitely much higher than the enemies I've seen in, like, the desert. <laughs> Present. What do we get? Sudden Guts Pill. Also, why the hell are there kids' desks in here? No, 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 no! I was not gonna get a back attack by that gosh darn robot. This robot actually has a lot it can do. Lasers, rockets, calling for people, apparently saying TikTok. Oh, you don't think they can back attack you? I just played cautious regardless. <gasps> More present! Vital capsule, but he's got too much stuff. Um, I'm going to give the guts pill to. It can't be used here. Then what the hell is this pill for? Sudden guts pill doubles your guts during. Oh, it's a battle item. I gotta make room. Hmm. Get rid of the picnic clutch. Or at the very least, I'll use it. Kind of like a dire hit in Pokemon. Does anyone ever really use those items? They're absolutely pointless. Uh, 
uh, ping, clackety, clankety, rattle, rattle, dwer, squeak, tweet, tweet, clank. Clumsy robot blocked the way. Gonna play it safe and bring up shields. I got him not to use that move. And I'm like almost level 40. I shouldn't be struggling. Oh, wait a minute. He's made of metal. Didn't we have that item? Maybe it's on Ness. Yes, the Rust Promoter. Also, this guy just healed himself. He's got a psychic sh- didn't work, which means we're going back. He's gonna heal. Is really? What? This enemy is so weird. If you wanted to go and get a battery. <laughs> Make contact! Yes, that was nice. All of a sudden, some guys rushed into the room. It was the Runaway Five! Looking quickly took behind the robot. I flipped the switch and stopped! <laughs> Jeez, what does a robot? It was so easy to stop. That was quick thinking. What does a robot stop moving? You won! Oh, yeah, I had the bo- Holy frog. 
holy the experience also I really don't want to level up until I get my partner back So eating a sandwich, oh, eating a sandwich really did do nothing. They just come in to help you when they need it. We'd like to pay you back. We'll help you in whatever way we can. I thought that heard a girl's voice. Let's break into the room next door. Except I need to go to the bathroom first. We don't have any money. We're strong, however. The room next door seems suspicious somehow. We're gonna find out right now! Stop! That's enough! Please stop! I give up! I really do! What the hell? Ness! You finally made it here! I'm fine. I believed you'd come and save me. Mr. Martoli isn't really a bad person. Take some time to listen to him. Why is he so scared? Look at my skinny arms, thin body, and gray hair. I've become so weak since I lost the Mani Mani statue. I'm sorry I kidnapped Paula. Make it seem like you rescued from a hopeless situation. Mm hmm. I haven't done anything to her. Paula's a nice girl. Paula, return to Ness. I'm sorry I've created so much trouble for you. Yay! We got our beach back! Alright, Jet, enjoy your book club. Paula joins you! I'll tell you everything. The Mani Mani statue creates an illusion. It attracts evil spirits and weakens your hearts. The power scared me so much. I hid the statue in the warehouse at Jackie's Cafe. I up and went there to pray. Cryptic words appeared to me while I was in the illusion. Ness, your name appeared in the cryptic messages. Stop, Ness, and do so by your own hand. Oh, don't let them go to Summers. Oh, make sure they know nothing of the pyramid. I don't fully understand the messages. Someone obviously doesn't want you to go to Summers. Evil. Gygus. Something. I can hear the name. Anyway, the evil side would be in trouble if you visit Summers. Oh, on the contrary. You should definitely go to Summers. Especially because they don't want you to make it there. Would you like to hear the whole story again? Nope! Summers is located across the ocean. Take my helicopter. I'll open the door to my heliport. Sweet. Be bear? Why did he push the bear block in the door? That's why. Sweet. You must go on. Ness, this is your destiny. Paula, it's time we said goodbye. Take care. I forget, what the heck's her level? Thirty-three. It's not too bad. The helicopter appears on the foreside stage in Smash. I don't really remember. Oh, it's a cute little helicopter. What? No! Give it! My helicopter! Aw, oh, you bastard! Yes, you pinheaded idiot! You're just a half step too slow! I'm getting out of here! Since my Atoli has become a plain old man again, I have no more use for him! This helicopter really coming handy? Looks like you're the world class loser again! Freak you! So, how the hell do we get there? I mean, now we have the ability to go to Winters. Maybe Winters is connected to Summers. Pokey took the helicopter. I hope he's 
it's okay. Uh, not me! I hope he freaking crash and burns! What? Paula? Us? The hell? Oh, I was a little dizzy, but now I'm okay. To get the Summers, we need to get back to Threed. Yep, somehow I know that's where we must go. Uh... Huh. Whoa! You guys had a lot while I was in the bathroom. <laughs> you wanna get to three as soon as possible? We can take the three, not two of us. I'll get the bus and wait for you just outside the building. Sweet. I mean, we also have the means of teleportation. Ah, oh, this was her room. You're traveling for yogurt, sir. Ness got the trout yogurt. Master Pokey's cool. He gave me something the other day and said this is fit for me. Um, yay? What the hell is this ugly, gross yogurt? Trout yogurt. A fashionable treat for snobby, hot egg cuisine people in some big cities. When eaten, you recover about 30 HP. So, it does absolute dog crap. <laughs> and, but teleportation doesn't rock as hard. Who says? Maybe I can give you the trout? Yogurt? Nah, looks like I can. Oh well, that's just one more item I'm gonna have to get rid of. Cause uh now that Paul is back, we have more inventory, but we need to clear out some stuff. I have to say though, this is actually I don't know if I've listened to food before. But I like it. That or I just really was not paying attention. genius, in fact. I know I'm a genius. Why? Well, I discovered the primary enemy of you and all of humanity. We have to fight and defeat this being. To do so, we need to invent a machine called the Phase Distorter. I've got to find the wandering scientist, Dr. Andonitz, and make the distorter. So I may be gone for a while. Later! Okay. Good, that means it won't be bugging me for a while. Are you a friend of the Runaway Five? Which an autograph be asking for too much? No, I don't mean your autograph, silly. Aw, you don't want the autograph of the great nest that's gonna rescue you all in the world? Ah. <laughs> Come on, don't ruin the funky beats! Now what? Hello, this is Orange Kid. Sorry I haven't called lately. I'm still working on the way to change boiled eggs into raw eggs. What? It's taking longer than I thought. I'm gonna really work at it though. Talk to me later. Click. No! No, I don't think I will. Apple Kid is more useful than you. Okay, you can get on the bus now. Alright, on to Threed! In style! I mean, we're not as cool as teleportation! Or maybe you could use the Psy power to teleport the whole van! I really hope there's not gonna be a traffic jam this time. We had a traffic jam going that way. 
There better not be a traffic jam going that way. Good. Does not look like there's any traffic jam of the sorts. Also amazing how this van is driving and the wheels are not even turning. It's it's like the van is hovering. Like it's some kind of uh, vehicular Roomba. Alright, we're back in Freed. Which used to be Zombie Town, which is no longer Zombie Town. I just gotta find the hotel now. Alright, we made it. I'm sorry we couldn't do more for you. Remember, we're on your side. When you're having a tough time, just think of our songs and imagine the Runaway Five singing somewhere far, far away. By the way, why'd you need to come back here? You must have forgotten some very important item of gadget here. How's that for a guess? Am I close? Well, you don't have to tell me. See you later and good luck. Oh, we have the UFO! Swing by the store and sell some stuff too. Good idea. Uh, no, I didn't take a piece of pizza. I would never think of doing that. It was delicious, though. Enjoy. As you may know, you need to order by phone, okay? <laughs> You're eating your merchandise! Alright, what can we sell? Please tell me I can sell the child yogurt. Gladly. <laughs> Take my tw take. <laughs> Spend your twenty-four dollars on that gross ass yogurt. Uh, Paula. Let's get rid of the yo-yo. She has two sun guts pills. You know what? I'm gonna store some stuff instead of selling. Man, once I get poo, I'm gonna be so happy to have more space. Yes, I was going to do that as soon as I make more bag space. Okay, you are going to take all the sudden gut pills. I am not big on the single stat items you use in battle for just one turn. There's some more stuff we could store. Like, uh, we should probably get rid of the pencil eraser again. And yes, I can use the vital capsule, but I was saving it for Paula because I know her health is not the highest. Yeah, it's 137. So I'm going to use that pill on her. Oh, keep the, uh, pencil eraser? Mm -hmm. 
Alright, I'll keep it. But, uh, I'm still gonna try and get rid of at least three more items. Handbag strap. Take the brain food lunch. And you know what? Hold the bag of Dragonite for now. I'll use it like towards the end of the game. Alright, and I think we're pretty good. Now I'm gonna heal up in uh, the hotel. He should be able to repair something, and then we can figure out what the hell to do next. Welcome to the Three Sunset Hotel. One night stay will cost you $108. Would you like to stay? Have a nice day. Enjoy our solid gold sheets. <laughs> Cause that's expensive. Aw, oh, and Jeff didn't learn how to fix anything. Do a quick savey save. I said that there may be a missing gadget or something, that's why we came back here. Which is why I'm thinking we're going back to that UFO. I just have to remember where it crash landed. I know we landed in the graveyard, just where in the graveyard? Oh, here we go. I think a big giant ass hole would probably be a good indicator where it landed. Oh! Maybe it's in working condition? We paint over all the damaged parts of the Skyrunner. I wonder how you start this thing up. I mean, you painted over the damaged parts, but that doesn't fix it. I want you to stay, but if you can't, so long. Thanks for everything, little old thing. Ah, here's the problem. And it's not too tough to fix. Hang on for a second or two. Nice job, Jeff! There. That should do it. Now, if we board, the Skyrunner will take us back to Winters. With Dr. Endon's help, I can modify the machine to fly to Summers. If Dad... I mean, Dr. Andonitz. It's not available. I'll have to figure it out myself. Anyway, let's get back to the lab in Winters. That's it. Go, machine, go. Uh, you, thank you. I was gonna say, uh, do you need to, like, do you have pump the brake to get the gas going? Bye, desert. I don't miss the heat stroke. Which also means goodbye, monkey cave.
Goodbye, Forside. I hope you all enjoy your trout yogurt. You miss the sesame seeds? I did the little chat before. Oh, your sesame is generally. Do you miss the sesame seeds? No, I don't. You'll be back. No. No, monkeys are here. I can never escape them. It's a monkey world. Well. Thanks for taking care of my husband the other day. Oh yes, you finally tied the knot. Cookie, cookie, cookie. Honey, don't just stand there with your mouth open. Say hello. So, kikukiaki. You passed by a cave north of Stonehenge. Don't you ever wonder what's inside? Kikukukie. Can't seem to stop thinking about it. Kikukie. Go and see what's there. Okay, cool. We gotta get out of here. We're still newlyweds, you know. Bye bye. Oh yeah, the cave that has the next glowy star thing there. Oh, you surprised me. You're Ness, aren't you? Jeff wets his bed sometimes, but other than that, he's a good boy. Wow! Throw shade on your son. You don't have to freaking bring that up. Take care of yourself, and Jeff. The Bubble Monkey said there's a cave north of Stonehenge. I've known about it for a long time. The locals call the area a rainy circle, but I haven't been there. I wonder what's inside the cave. Uh, uh I understand. You should also go upstairs. I don't think you did before. While you're checking out that place, I'll work on remodeling the Skyrunner. Oh, yes, yes. My co-worker, Bigfoot dislikes violence. He's such a nice guy, and he loves people. He often shares his beef jerky with me. Aw, ain't that nice. Ooga Booga. May I help you? Waka Oongawa. What would you like? Oh, you're a seller. Um. Hmm. Nothing for now. Woongoongari. Please come again. Instant revitalizing device. In only a few seconds, this machine fully revitalizes you. It's like a good night's sleep. Neat! So what's up here? Ah, uh, praising! A broken pipe! Fantastic! If only Jeff would get off his freaking ass and fix shit! Now, I wonder if I could fight these Yeti, uh, Yetis, these Bigfoot that are by Stonehenge and maybe grind out a couple of levels? Ah, uh, snowy area, my favorite. You kids don't look very bright. Let me explain. These stones are making a pattern. It's called Stonehenge. UFOs often visit here. You must have seen it on TV or read about it in the head tabloids. Yes, that Stonehenge. Oh yeah, I forgot we came from there before. <clears throat> uh, uh, for some reason, something that looks like a very large iron eraser is in the way. Oh no! Wait, do I have an item for that? Oh crap! It's Jennyville. <laughs> and I said yet again. I meant Bigfoot. Okay, here we go. This is where I want to be. You finally got here. This is the fourth, your sanctuary location. But it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Shroom! A 
attacked, and wow, you look incredibly depressed. Story time? Please share. I once beat this guy with PK Flash. Okay, let's try PK Flash. Did not work on Shroom. Scared some spores. No! Psy Flash being up has a chance to insta kill it. Ooh, I want to try doing that. I like the fact he got the mushroom in his head. Could not stop crying. Mm, well, his accuracy goes down, so that's good. Doing too bad with damage right now. Okay, he's poisoned now, but does that mean I he does not have the shroom in his head anymore? Okay, good. Jeff is poisoned instead. Oh, uh, no. I was wondering why it was feeling funky, so he's got both. Got mushroomed. Oh shoot, I don't have any more pee pee. Hey, I've been listening in but was distracted. How's it going? How's it going, Vey? I hope your internet's doing good right now. Uh we're fighting mushroom guy here. Yeah, and I'm having a time. I am in status condition central. starting to heal himself.
Musher man! I'm so screwed. Maybe I can get a random crit or something. Nice part is this should heal as soon as I get that. Whew. Thank you for reviving my two partners and removing the poison and mushroom from my skull. Ness caught a whiff of steak, but just for a second, Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the rainy circle. Aw, oh, I can't just, you know, like, take a dip. Oh well. Did what we needed to do. And all y'all can just F off. I wonder if these guys will still chase me. Nope, they run. I am the master of Bigfoots. And I probably can't. Does he have a phone here? No. Maybe when I get to Summers. Oh, wait. Yes, he does. I, I see it. Have you fought a Neanderthal? Not yet. Oh, Ness. Jeff wets his bed sometimes, but that is a good boy. Take care of yourself and Jeff. Hmm? It looks like you found something out. I finished remodeling the Skyrunner. You can leave for summers whenever you wish. It shouldn't break this time. Well, maybe. You should before you leave, maybe. I. I do just still want to save from that fight because I don't want to do it again. <laughs> All right, we're going to fight a caveman. Where is a caveman? No, 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 no. You're not getting the job on me. Cave boy and its cohort. All right, let's get rid of the bear first. Mighty bear seven. I don't like that. Okay, that takes care of the bear. Now for Cave Boy here. That is nasty for uh, stats to go down by that much. 
and there we go. Ooh, not bad. Not bad experience. Alright, so was there... I <laughs> got shouted at. I wasn't sure if there was a reason to fight them. But I mean, they are good experience if I need to come back here. Uh, how do I enter ship? I mean, fantastic that there's no problem, but I want to get in it! Oh, you won't be back here for a while. Uh, oh well. It is nice that I was able to fight him. But now how the hell do I get this goddamn silver ball? Do I talk to you again? No, you just say the same thing. Oh, wait, there we go. You don't examine it, you just walk into it. You're landing on sand. Never mind. Wow, it is absolutely destroyed. There is no fixing that. You look so serious. You are in summers, a dream paradise. Relax and have some fun. If I was on a mission, I would, because this actually looks cool. And you got the thousand yard stare. Like, I'm just trying to take a nap in the shade. Don't bother me. It just needs a bit of duct tape. You're gonna need a whole lot of duct tape. I wonder why such serious looking kids as you would come to this resort town. You guys are spoiling the atmosphere. You know me, I like talking to everybody. Oh, the guy next to me is really bugging me. He keeps following me around. Wake up in the morning, fall in love. Eat lunch, fall in love. And at night, fall in love again. That's my dream life. Oh, God, get a new life. This isn't your kind of place. You should travel across the sea to Staraba from Toto, the poor town. Oh, we got one of these guys again. And we got... We got the camera schmuck again! Mm, pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, Fuzzy Pickles. Fuzzy Pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Pickle in the cup. Fight that guy, he's a rare enemy. I was, that's exactly what I was trying to go for until I heard my phone ring. Overzealous cop. 
Oh, now that we're in a new town, we got all new gear. And we got another level. And uh, I was gonna say, there's another one there, but geez. Overzealous cop and his cohort, the Chad. <laughs> Is this where the Chad was born? Wow, he came out swinging. The other guy's an even rarer enemy. I mean, if you say they're rare, they should give a lot more experience. Ow, she got hurt. <clears throat> wow, she hung on with one health. Oh, they're not common. They aren't rare in that way. Okay, every time you say rare, I think, oh wow, it's like a 1% chance and they'll have like a secret item or a super high experience like a metal slime in Dragon Quest. Only a tanning pro like me is able to get an actual suntan on the palms of his hands. You enjoy that, you schmo. Rare enemies are just interesting in their own right. New art and such. Oh, there are enemies like that, but not these guys. Which is true, because I know when they're... It's the only one I really know of in my mind, because I've seen a couple of people do it. When you're in the dino area, you gotta keep killing a specific dinosaur for an item. East of here is the poor town of Toto. No, no, I'm not a billboard. I mean, thank you for the info. To go to Scaraba, you need to cross the sea. However, a monster named Kraken lives in the open sea. He attacks ships that pass through. Are you scared? Ah, uh, kitty. Ah, uh, kitty don't like me. Across the sea, there's a town called Skaraba. It's a mysterious town. It's my dream town. Thanks, Waluigi. <laughs> Too much grinding. Drop rate too low. Is it like the drop rate of the flute in Final Fantasy IX? I do enjoy these little villas. I'm a grave robber. I was scared of the pyramid in Scaraba, so I didn't go in. But I tell people that I saw mummy type monsters with my very own eyes. I like to lie! One out of 128 is the rarest drop rate in this game. Do you know the Stoic Club in Summers? You need to call a secret number for a reservation. If you want to get in. What? Yeah, I'll give you a secret number. I warn you though, it's a strange place. Oh! I got it, but I don't know the numbers? Hello, Jeff? Oh, happy day! I finally got a hold of you! Oh, Jeff. Hi, it's me, Tony! I'm collecting players' names for a school project. You know, players just like you. That's right, you, the one holding the control. When did this game just randomly decide to break the fourth wall? Would you register your name, please? Don't spell your name wrong. The 
let's just go with Lloyd, shall we? I don't... I don't need the game talking to me directly, thank you very much. Thanks, game player. Thank you very much. Is this correct? Yes. I apologize for any trouble this may have caused you. Don't put my friend Jeff in any dangerous situations, okay? I worry about him. I really do. Well, talk to you later. Jeff, I hope that I can see you again when you're feeling up to it. From T-O-N-Y. You got that? Well, I've been on the phone for too long. Gotta go. Good luck. Take care. So long. This time, I'm really gonna hang up. Goodbye. Beep. Ring, ring, ring. If my friend dies, I'm coming after you. <laughs> Flashbacks to the mushrooms. He doesn't need to know that. Would you like a boat ride? No thanks. Okay, I understand. I don't feel like sending a ship out. I'm worried about my wife. I'm not afraid of the Kraken. My wife's totally ignoring her magic cake business. These days she spends her time hanging out at a strange club. We no longer have any mutual interests to discuss. Is our relationship over? <sighs> Maybe I'll marry the sea. Dinosaurs existed. I saw one. It had been out of the underground when it dried out. Of course it was dead. Believe what I'm saying. Huh. And man, there are a lot of buildings here. If you come closer, I'll play the trumpet. Uh, I don't know how to play it. <laughs> Bow. Now brown cow? Weird dog. Nothing in here. At least it's not like those computer games that just pull your name from the OS. I mean, like, Doki Doki Literature Club does that. It actually reads stuff in your computer to make it sound like that Monica is talking to you. I haven't even explored Summers yet. Wait, this isn't Summers? I thought this was Summers. Then what town am I exploring? Oh, this is Toto. I don't want to go out to sea because of the Kraken. I mean, any normal person would feel the same way. It just shows how much I'm paying attention. <gasps> Shop! Means gear! Give me gear! If ye behead the Scaraba, ye ought to shop here. Things are expensive down there. So, what are you looking for? What would you like then? What do we got? Uh. Oh, you just sell usable items besides the coin of defense. I don't know, gun, I need the uh, drugstore. Hotel. There's the hospital. Another nice day. Summers always has sunny days. Well, there's the hit, dude. There's another museum. If you're bored, go check out the Scaraba Cultural Museum. It may be helpful to you. They have a hieroglyph from a pyramid. As soon as I find... Oh, there's the club. But I'm looking for the drugstore. Oh, there's another shop. <clears throat> okay, maybe this will be more promising. How annoying. Why are you are wandering around? Summers is a posh resort made for adults. Hi, welcome to my store. What do you need? Yes! I don't even care about the prices. I have a lot of money. Let's see. He's going to be getting the bat. Wow, 
almost 20 point jump. I'm going to need to withdraw a lot of cash. <laughs> Goodbye, money. <laughs> Give me 20,000. Goodbye, hope of ever getting that house in Onet. This is more important, though. Lucky coin, gold bracelet, platinum band, diamond band, and the bear. They're getting diamond bands. They're getting that Gucci. <laughs> One away to 128. Another withdrawal. My last ten thousand. Uh, goodbye, money. a good amount of cash. Uh, let's see. Lucky coin. Uh, not yet. Actually, you know what? No. They get one lucky coin. Farming. Oh, give it to Paula? Uh, well, it's kind of late now. I'll keep it on Ness for now. Off screen, I do plan to, uh, farm up money and experience. I'm actually a surfer, but you can't surf at this beach. Should I become a hoarder so that I can get tips from all the full folks? Hey, hey! Stop putting your grimy fingerprints all over my car, you little punk. Fight the si Fight the sign. What sign? There's a hotel sign. Oh, it's gone. Shoot. Okay. Sorry. Car! Oh, it's another bad taxi! Totally scrapped. Check out the restaurant. Uh -huh. So, where's your mom and dad? You mean your kids came in here all by yourselves? Well, I can make your order to go. What can I get for you? Chef special, pasta de summers, kraken soup. Actually sounds good. A <laughs> gang of kids just walk up and wail at someone's car. That car was alive! I'll have the braised bow over minced baby leeks. Oh, you're not the waiter. Steak? Please, we don't have such trash on our menu. Ex excuse me? Fancy restaurants like this? Prime cut steaks are like fifty dollars. Sometimes even hitting a hundred. 
I know there are even better restaurants that have their astronomical prices, but I'm being favorable on prices here. Poet. Oh, sorry. You know, can't quite describe it. Drinking glass after glass of iced coffee is, well, bleh. Oh, excuse me. Nah, steak is nothing compared to the. God damn it! <laughs> this schmuck again! Also, he has terrible table manners. He is standing on the restaurant's very clean tablecloth. Get the hell out of here! He was also standing on the grandma! I have fake teeth, so I like soft foods, not like rocks or stones, that's too hard. I like the atmosphere in this restaurant, they have good food too. Hey, talking to people at another table in a restaurant is like breaking into their room and checking their drawers for valuables. Yeah, other people are important and ventures do such things. But you have to admit that's bizarre. My father did that, and we never understood it. Like, he will, whenever we're in a restaurant or a diner, he will actually, when we're leaving, and he, if he hears a conversation, will literally insert himself into the conversation and ask how the couple or person are doing. We never understood how he could be that sociable. Like, we would never do that! Alright, we should be able to go into the club? Club Stoic. This is not the Stoic Club. Please be on your way. Wait, what?! Wow, that is like breaking into their room and looking into their drawers. <laughs> that would be what my dad had did then. But again, he was just... If someone's talking about... There's a sign. If someone's talking about politics, or someone's eating their meal, and they like it, and they're chit-chatting, my dad will actually just say like, Oh, I like this and this too. I hope you guys are doing well. Introduces himself and all that. I am way too introverted to be able to do that. <laughs> Also, this sign says Ohio. Yes, there is an Ohio Route 40. Huh, I wonder why they decided to make a reference of that. Also, what's that bird? It's a minor bird. The guy next- oh, that's the bird. The guy next to me is really bugging me! He keeps following me around! Ah! I almost made it a point to go see it when I was living in Ohio. I only traveled to Ohio once, and that was by train. Right now, part of the Scaraba Cultural Museum is being remodeled. Do you still want to enter? Yes. Three dollars per person. Study hard. Thank you. Let's all learn education together. Houghton Carmen's casket. Houghton Carmen's pencil box? I saw a chubby kid about your age here. He looked like he was awfully wealthy. He was being extravagant. Ah, uh, porker his hair! Houghton Carmen's lunchbox. Oh my god. Imagine having a sarcophagus sized lunchbox. How much food are you gonna be storing? I've gone through Ohio like five times. 
Never stopped anywhere other than to get gas. Ram Raisin the third's casket. Is this the second to first? Ram Raisin the fourth's casket. Ram Raisin the fifth's training. Oh, the fifth's training pot. This is some interesting agricultural, not agricultural, but historical items. This room is being remodeled, so I can't show it to you. I can't. Well, I usually don't show this room. Once you hit adulthood, you'll understand. I do, however, like jewelry. Perhaps a little, shall we say, under the table deal would be in order. All right, we need jewelry. Mmm, ram raisin. I hate stuff with raisins in it. Except cinnamon raisin bagels. I make an exception on that one. Alright, so... What do I do? Check out the hospital? Nothing. Raisin bran. All raisin bran is cornflakes with raisins. It's no different than regular cornflakes. Like, it's definitely not my cup of tea. Hmm. <laughs> You're no different than regular cornflakes. <laughs> Didn't walk all the way to the west. Alright. Because I went as far as the restaurant. This town is actually really big. What the heck did I just run into? Oh, another sign. As I went, so what's further? The sky's blue and the sun is high. The prices here are so high, it'll make your face turn blue. That's summers. Wait. Blah, blah, no one here cares! No one cares! That's right, just go back flying into space, please. Now what? Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time. Dad, leave me alone! I'm a grown, a, I'm a grown man of ten. You're in a resort town, of course you're gonna take pictures. <laughs> Welcome to the Hotel de Summers. My name is Rasosha Richmond, and I am the assistant manager. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid we don't have any reservation under your name. However, we can offer you a room at 450 a night. Would you be interested in a room? No. That's too bad, sir. Please keep us in mind the next time you come here on your holiday and get the fuck out! 
<laughs> Actually, I really should call mom and dad. Oh, call the club! I thought the number we got was like a set of numbers you talk tell the doorman. <clears throat> oh, she does dance aerobics. Uh, I'm so sad to see only that amount of cash right now. <laughs> Now for the club. Hello, this is the Stone Club. Oh, Ness, sir. Would you like to make a reservation? Certainly. We are looking forward to having you here. Thank you. There we go. We Now we got progress. Thank you, Vay, for telling me about uh, calling the club. It looks like a piece of rock salt. Faye taking credit once again. Sorry! I meant Quartzy! Quartzy, thank you so much for the tip about the phone number. I'm sorry! God damn it! Why do I do that? Technically speaking, 7 Eleven, it seems to expl explicate the fact that your rep. Deation of entropy supports my theory of space-time synthesis. Of this, I'm refutably confident. I finally awakened the enemy, the true self. The patrons of this club are able to stare into their own soul, hard enough to burn a hole in their psyche. I'm not comfortable enough to stare at the real me, the true self, and burn the impression into my super ego. I want to be in this comfort zone at any time, all the time, or at no time. My ID is telling me. Okay. You guys can't envision the final collapse of capitalism? Incredible. Hmm. I think it's a very complicated issue. Oh, sorry. I was sleeping. You know, I really want to eat some magic cake. It's a mysterious work of art. I can't get that cake out of my mind. There's only one woman who can make magic cake. She's hanging out in this club. Yeah, she's over there at the entrance. Anyway, the absolute irony and study of self-identification is... Blah, blah, blah. I don't know what to do. The show? It's already started. Everyone stares at the stone on stage and philosophizes. Does that sound stupid? <laughs> You don't understand what the hey everyone's talking about, do you? I don't either, but I try to be patient with the customers. They pay high prices just for a glass of water and the chance to have serious intellectual discussions. Actually, it's an easy business. You want a drink? We only serve water, though. Imagine needing to be invited to this kooky place. I don't know, it's people who think their, their shit don't stink. Uh, so this is the lady, but how do I kind of snap her out of this? Oh, here it is. What? What? Magic cake? You came all this way just to eat my magic cake? Yes. I see. Okay. Why don't you stop by a little cart out on the beach later? Sweet! I want to see what this rock is. Hmm. And it isn't going to let me examine it. Hmm. Magic cake. <laughs> if the cake is anything cinnamon rollish, it is indeed magic cake. So 
now we gotta find a card out here. Oh, and she's serving cake out here. Dang. She's serving cake out here? It's gonna get covered in sand grain. It's gonna get nasty. Oh, you will roll, all right. What's that supposed to mean? Don't tell me I'm gonna have to fight Magic Cake, like fighting that cake boss in Mario RPG. I don't know if I trust Magic Cake from some new age type. It's similar to all those people that say, Oh, I rubbed this in my skin and my acne magically went away. I just rubbed this avocado oil all over. Welcome back, Jet. How was uh, Book Club? I accidentally gave credit to someone who did not deserve credit, which uh, should have gone to your husband. So I apologize for your husband. <laughs> oh, wait. There she is. I don't know who told you. You came from far off just to eat my magic cake. I thought making cakes would be the best career for me. Also, you guys don't want to realize what image popped to my head when she says, you want to eat my magic cake. Let's just say it's not meant for children. <laughs> Dig in. I used all leftover materials. This is a very special magic cake. Oh. She laced it with LSD, I knew it! <laughs> Ness had a dream. It was a very clear and very strange dream. Never eat cake from some psychological woman? Dalam. Or Dalam in the Far East. Oh, I wonder if this is where we see Pooh! The Palace of Pooh. The Crown Prince. I don't think I want to visit that palace. <laughs> Prince Pooh, the time has now come for you to undertake your final trial. Go to the Palace of Emptiness and endure this final test. I am praying for your success in this final stage of your training. Whoa. Ooh, I like the music. What level am I, anyway? I am level 15. At least I'm not level 1. life noodles. Why? I'm the only one here right now. Brainstone? What's this? Tiny ruby and brainstone. Tiny ruby. An old treasure from Delam. Brainstone. A miraculous stone that enables you to concentrate without using your own brain. This is accomplished just by your keeping this item? This is great because if you can't concentrate, you can't use side. Huh. Hello? Is that you, Ness? Why are you disguising your voice like that? Why are you pretending to be? Oh well, it's not a big deal. I suppose you need to have a sense of humor at a time like this. I just paused 456 into your bank account. Oh, I just realized his head looks like a phone! Oh, that's 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 so clever. I was like, what kind of nonsense is he talking about? Man, is this place made out of freaking gold? Prince Pooh, you're my favorite. <laughs> Boo, I 
can't jump off. <laughs> your final test. Use your side to save yourself. What is immortality? Is it everlasting life? Mmm. Mmm. This reminds me of when I had played Golf Story on stream. The cliff area. Oops. Uh, okay. Oh, Prince Pooh. I'm surprised you're not in training. It seems like that's all you do these days. Why don't you take some time to play with me? I'm so lonely without you. I love you. <laughs> Please come in. Look around the house as much as you want. I will gladly take your crap. Thank you! Oh, Prince Pooh, you have time to play with me? No. Ha, ah, I know. Training changed you. I'm jealous of your training. Hmm. I just roasted some garlic and onion, so the room still stinks. Water heals PP, but is only really effective for Pooh. Why? It's just water. I heard that Prince Pooh is deeply into Moo training. I want to help him, if I can. What the hell is Moo training? Am I training with cows? I'm taking crap. Deli sauce? You know that you do do everything well, right? Do do. Oops. Say, Prince Boo, are you still popular with the girls? Yes. I heard you're living a more serious lifestyle these days. Poo! <laughs> I made a funny. Prince Boo, Rex, you are such a hunk. Let me just give you a big old kiss. <laughs> We get a bowl of rice gruel. Bleh. A bottle of, another bottle of water. We serve water, rice gruel, and those sorts of things. What would you like to do? Water, rice gruel, deli sauce. Oh, it's all the stuff that I've gotten. I wish I could recover my PP just by drinking water. Even though I have never seen him before. I heard that the prince can do that. I guess I need more training. By the way, so what is PP anyway? So deli sauce is an interesting item. It is a condiment. In Japanese, it is called mandala furikake. Furikake is a topping with various things in it. I think the stress goes on the I in deli sauce, so that it kind of sounds like delicious. So, deli sauce? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'm gonna come back to you guys in a sec. This is Moo, the place of nothingness. People train here must first clear everything from their mind. It's the only recipe I've made from the cookbook. It was very tasty. You can make your mind blank and learn the true meaning of Moo. You'll pass through. Moo is Moo. You have nice eyes. You must be Prince Poo Poo. Long ago, I completed Moo training. I want to show you a higher level of intelligence. However, I'm still realizing and learning this high level. I'll see you again. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoa! Old man got moves! Ah, uh, Prince Blue, I am a messenger from your master. You sent me to tell you that you must stop your meditation immediately. Prince Blue, you must come back with me instead of staying in a place such as this. Your master wishes it. 
Please, Rise Prince. Your Highness, you must give up this trial for now. Believe what I say. It's the truth. I ignore thee! Yes! Whoa, that scary looking face! Prince Poor, I am the spirit of your ancient lineage. To complete your trial, I am going to break your legs. You will lose the use of them. Do you accept this? Absolutely not! Uh... What? I don't want my legs broken, what the fuck? Now what do I do? Do I have to act- wait, 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 wait. Better idea! There we go! So, Prince Pooh, you cannot walk as your legs are broken. Next, I will tear your arms off. I shall then take your arms and feed them to the crows. The taking of your arms. Do you accept this? Yes. Ah, Prince Pooh. Without legs and arms, you can only lie there. Now, I'll cut your ears off. You do not mind my taking your hearing away, do you? Do you accept this? <laughs> you didn't need those things? Well, technology has come a long way. I could just be bionic. So, Prince Pooh, no legs, no arms, and no sound. By floating words through the air, I must ask you, do you care if I take your eyes? Do you want to live in eternal darkness? I shall steal your sight. Do you accept this? Yes. Enjoy my eyeballs. So, Prince Pooh, now I can only communicate directly with your mind. Your mind is all you have left. In the end, I will take your mind. Though you probably don't want to allow that, do you? So, you can't answer. You can't even move. Are you sad? Are you lonely? If you lose your mind, you also lose any feelings of sadness. Do you accept this? I will take your mind, Prince Pooh. Know that I will possess it. Pooh, you have now completed your training. The old master must be so pleased. Hurry, now, and return to the palace. That was kind of twisted. So is... Am I really... Pooh? Or am I... The spirit of that floating head guy? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. With my legs still attached to my body. Alright, sir. I am proud. You have completed your moon training. There's nothing more to teach you from the holy writings. Yay? 
it's Boo! I shall relay a message to you from eternity. The evil entity that controls all wickedness is preparing for the greatest struggle of all time. The only ones who can challenge the entity are three boys and one girl. One named Ness is the leader of the four. One of the boys is you, Prince Boo. Now that you've completed your training, search out Ness at once. For all beings to the earth herself, I pray for growth in the might of the four. Whose level is now 16? I also don't know if it was him talking or someone else talking. Oh, crap. Power of shield. Okay. How many levels am I going to get? That's a pretty good representation of Buddhist enlightenment. The giving away of all worldly desires. Yes, but... I don't know, it just still seems so cold. Oh! Hi, Pooh! My name is Pooh. I am the one who will fight beside you. I am the servant of Ness. I will obey Ness. Ness, my life is in your hands. Oh, I got Teleport B. I didn't even notice that either. Pooh joined you. Hooray! Which means... Look at all this more space I got! Now, what the hell did you feed me, woman? I can no longer make magic cakes. But it doesn't matter because now I'm selling magic tarts. Which taste even better than magic cakes. I only have this... Magic tart. You're going to buy my magic tart. Who is going to carry it? Um, Paula. Thank you very much. Would you like to buy anything else? No. You remind me how much I love this job. Yay. So that was definitely something. Now, I need to find a phone. And he is going to need some heavy-duty leveling. And he is dead. Son of a bitch. Fortunately now, I can teleport again, so I can kind of go back to uh, just past places to do some level grinding. And money grinding. So Pooh is interesting. He has only one weapon and is easily missable. Ew. I don't like just easy missable weapons. Let me guess. It's easily missable, but if it lands, it crits. Or it instant kills. No, that would be broken. <laughs> you know the Ruma dolls? They're based on Buddha Harma, who reached enlightenment meditating in a cave. His body withered away and was left. It's just a head and some versions of the story. I knew with those Daruma dolls. Wait, am I thinking of the same Daruma? The one where you're supposed to make a wish and then color in the other eye? Missable, I mean, it is one of the one out of 128 items. Ah, okay. When you say missable, I thought his weapon just keeps missing in battle. And yes, that's what you meant by Daruma. I did not know that. I thought they were just strictly a uh, Japan thing. 
I didn't know it had a... Well, there is Buddhism in Japan, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> oh, oh no, you probably will never get it. I never did. That sounds like a challenge. Although, I never got the flute from the guy in Final Fantasy IX. So, I probably will not even bother trying to get it. Alright, so, I believe I'm going to end things here. We made progress, we got another sound thingy, we got Pooh in our party, and I'm going to spend time getting money and leveling Pooh up. So, with that, I'm going to find a raid target for tonight. Let's see who we can, uh, raid. Oh, Mama Buns is streaming. So is Judo. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna raid Judo. next time everybody have a great day and a great night and i'll see you all in the next stream <laughs>